Well, Joe, it's fight week. This Saturday night, you're going to be climbing through the ropes to face Simeon Dennis for the Quest British Cruiserweight title. And I've got to say, there's been the pandemic, there's been injuries, there's been pullouts, etc., etc. Um, but now you're finally getting on. How do you feel to be uh, stepping back through those ropes? Do you know what? I'm buzzing. Um, I'm just looking forward to sort of getting in there. I boxed for a little while and um, I've been training hard and I'm just looking forward to putting on a good performance. Mm. How frustrating has it been for yourself? Especially, you know, there's been fights that have been scheduled. You've had opponents that have pulled out. Um, you were scheduled to, uh, to be out last time. Uh, and unfortunately, the rib injury um, that you sustained sort of uh, ruled you out. But now that it is so close to this fight, and especially against a fighter like Simeon Dennis, who is, uh, is very, very confident, um, talk us through a little bit about what it's been like, the, the road leading up to this fight. It's been hard because obviously I've had a few training camps. Um, I feel like I've been putting the work in, but I've not had the reward of obviously boxing. So I'm just, we're close now. The training's done. I've got a few more sessions to go and I'm just, I'm raring to go. Mm. I'm going to start by looking at your opponent. Obviously, Simeon Dennis, he's been in the competition. Um, he's boxed outside of Quest. Um, he's a southpaw. He's awkward. He's tricky. Um, the man that will be standing in front of you on the 19th at the Brentwood Centre, try and break him down for me as an opponent. Um, not seen. I've watched a, a sort of clip it's a fight of him. He, I mean, he's southpaw. He's tricky. Um, he throws shots from sort of awkward angles. Um, that's it really. I, I, I don't. I think I'll have more than enough to beat him comfortably, um, which is no disrespect to him. He's someone that I've never really looked at as an opponent. I never thought I'd box him, but he said a lot. Um, he's very confident, so we'll see what happens on, on the nineteenth. Mm. I mean, look, looking at the sort of um, the road to this point that's uh, obviously led you both to this British title shot. You know, on paper. You would say for you, for you definitely, you know, the amateur pedigree, um, the fact that you've won titles outside of the Quest competition, um, just the general calibre of opponents that you faced. People are going to say, well, for me, Joe Seabrook looks like the sort of, uh, you know, the winner in this contest. But, you know, how dangerous do you think Dennis is? Do you know what? He's any southpaw is tricky. Um, I'm not really too focused on what he's bringing. I'm sort of worried about my game, what I'm going to do. I think it's down to him to try and beat me whether or not he comes at me whether or not he tries to counter my jab or whatever I'm sort of worried about my boxing ability and what I'm going to do with regards to the calibre of opponent yeah I box a lot higher level than him um, I don't think he's boxed anyone my sort of style or my experience but obviously like he's in this in, in this gym every day so he's obviously training really hard so I'm, I'm not taking him lightly at all mm. I know when uh, when it comes to boxing when you're facing a southpaw, there's always a sort of uh, the, the things that you sort of work on in the gym. You know, there's the there's the awkwardness of a southpaw in terms of obviously you being an orthodox fighter and your lead sort of left leg clashing with his right leg. Um, but I mean, how how has the sparring gone? I mean, have you geared your sort of uh, your training specifically towards that sort of problem? Do you know what? I've had a good mixture of sparring. So we've got a couple of good southpaws. I've sparred orthodox. I've sort of I've tried to vary my sparring. Obviously, mainly around southpaws, but I've had probably the best sparring I've ever had um, for any fight I've ever had. So, yeah, like, I mean, I should win this fight, I believe, comfortably. Um, there may be sort of sticky patches in the fight, but I'm, I'm supremely confident I'll win. Mm. There's also a kind of a, a confidence coming out of the uh, of Dennis's camp, you know, where, like I say, on paper, you're, you're definitely the sort of more experienced fighter, but they're very, very confident. You know, they're saying, you know, we think we've got all the tools and more to beat Joe Seabrook. You know, we we know we're going to win this fight. And normally in big fights like this, you know, when you're coming into it, you know, fighters, obviously you need that confidence. But also there's always a, well, you know, I know this is a big step up in class or this is going to be a tough night's work. But there hasn't been any kind of noise from um, Team Dennis on that front. They're just literally raring to go like you are confident. Um, you know, that they're very, very sort of... Uh, sure of themselves that this is going to be a sort of a, a team Dennis win so you know what do you put that confidence down to? You'd have to ask them um, I can only sort of speak for myself I mean obviously they're, they're, they're training hard they've got a good gym good coaches he's a good fighter so why, why wouldn't he be confident? I, I do think they've massively underestimated me but that will, um, that will come to fruition on the, on the night. Mm. Um, and I like to sort of you know ask fighters because 
when you're building up to a fight like this and you know you've got to anticipate your opponent the man standing in front of you you've got to anticipate different scenarios and how the fight might play out but you know how do you see this one going when that first bell does sound i'll be honest i think it it all depends on on what approach he takes because i'll box the same way i always box so if he goes on the back foot i believe i'll win if he comes on the front foot i believe i'll stop him early um it's it's i don't really sort of map it out too much i've boxed in the amateurs for a long time um it, to me a, a good fighter can adapt i believe i can adapt very well um one of my biggest strengths is, is that I can adapt in the ring. Um, I don't really try to plan it out too much in my head. I'll just get in there, do what I do, and hopefully that's enough to win. Mm. Well, it's a really, really fascinating encounter. As I say, it's the main event on the Locked and Loaded promotion, Quest Boxing League at the Brentwood Centre on Saturday, March the 19th. Joe Seabrook will be taking on Simeon Dennis for the vacant Quest Cruiserweight British title. Thank you, Joe. Cheers, Adam. Thanks, mate.